College basketball is back in Western Massachusetts as the Minutemen take on George Mason and the Patriots. Separation Saturday here in the Atlantic 10. Two teams in the thick of it trying to rise above. Welcome back to Jack Lehman Court out in Hawaii as well. Massachusetts in the white. Tap is up. Keyshawn Hall leading them and scoring 14 of their 21 games. Keon Thompson gets downhill for UMass, and it's a 6 0 start to this one for the Minutemen. He gets stolen away by Polite. Out ahead to Hall. Hall steps through, and Hall just can't complete it. Second effort goes for Darius Maddox. Goal tending that was called. This is Keon Thompson coming up with a block. And upon the new rule in NCAA basketball, they can review if it's called a goaltending on the court. They can go back and review it and then alter that opinion. And on that view, it looked like Thompson got a clean block. Now George Mason to two, George Mason run. Thompson trying to end it, and he finally does. Third bucket of the day for Keon Thompson. Cohen. Tries to feed it through Cross like a wide receiver between two DBs, and he fires it out to Diggins, who drains the three. Once again, they're certainly aware that they need hands and bodies into those low post passing lanes. About <laughs> Curry just spots up the mid range. He did the strong hand left, needed the right right there, probably. Maddox for three. It's good with a hand in his face, and UMass wants a timeout as George Mason has turned a sloppy game with 10 turnovers that they've been able to force, and they've owned up an eight-point lead. That'll take us to the next media timeout. And Newton with that size. Yeah. That's what needs to be done, driving the basketball in those gaps. Thompson will rattle home the triple. Here's Cohen going to work. Cohen uses the glass so smooth. Well, it's one of the few times it got into the low post, perfectly off the bounce pad down here. Hall, Okoje for three. That is no good. And that'll take us to the half. So, 10 turnovers for UMass, seven for George Mason. A lot of running back and forth, and at the end of the day, neither team shooting the ball all that well. Here's Polite over cross and gets the roll, does Ronald Polite. It's the first foul on Maddox. Diggins with a catch and shoot, and Diggins for three. One point lead here for Massachusetts. 7 nothing run for the Minutemen, and we've got Billups down as he got tangled up with Cohen. And I think Josh Cohen is going to get hit with his first foul. Free throw shooter, Maddox 87%, and Keyshawn Hall 84% from the line. Through a crowd, out to Thompson, rises for three. No good there. Kept alive. Once again, cross. Out to Diggins. Indeed. That needs possession, but that was just tapped out of bounds. So Hall will get off a funky three, and it's good for Keyshawn Hall. That's the fourth foul on Kelly. Nice. And to Cohen. Boy, that was Quick terrific. turnaround, missed it. Gets it back, and one for Josh Cohen. Just a beautiful play by Cohen off the out of bounds play. Comes off a back screen, locates himself on the block. Didn't get the first pass, but maintained his positioning in the front of the rim, which is what you want to do against double teaming teams. In the front of the rim, it's a little bit harder. Gets his own miss, puts it back in. It didn't look like much there on the foul, but. Up by two with the ball. Here comes Thompson. Keon Thompson gets loose down low. So Eight to shoot. Cross in the corner will take the three. Anyway. It's good. Matt Cross rattles it home. Took a while to get it there. Cross gets his mitts in there. Okoje drives, dishes, open. Maddox for three. It's good as he responds on the other end. Yeah. Eight to shoot. Newton thought about it. Into the post. Hall. Hall goes up against Cross, and Hall will finish to give George Mason back the lead. Being guarded by Curry. Yeah, real mismatch down low. Doesn't matter as Woody Newton drills the three. Eight team fouls right now, so it's still one and one bonus situation. Cross comes over the back and knocks it away. Thompson in the open court to Chinge. Chinge lays it in, and we're tied up at 55. Boy, started with Matt Cross. Great outlet pass. Keon Thompson. 
to Cohen. Jinge open for three. Boy. Jay, that's just how you work on it. Diagonal pass, interior pass to middle of the zone. Throw opposite to a catch and shoot. Perfect possession by the Miniman. For George Mason. Diggins, he'll let it fly. Soft as summer rain. Rasul Diggins throws the UMass lead. Electric here in Amherst in a timeout for George Mason. Just Been a little quiet in the second yeah, half for Diggins. This creates separation, as you can see. It creates excitement as well. Diggins up to 12. And the fans are fired up here inside the Mullen Center. Not saving any energy for tonight. They'll keep it going all day long with hockey coming up and a puck drop against Maine. It's the guy looking for Hall in the post. 30 seconds to go. Help comes. Hall finishes through it. Shot clock off. Exciting games in February as well as the crowd rises to be the sixth man. 17 seconds left. Here we go. Again. Akoje out to Newton. Launches the three. That's no good. Mason with the ball, but it's picked up. And Chinge can't get there. Four seconds to go. Here we go. Akoje. Oh, no. It happened again for UMass. Diggins a chance, and he gets fouled. He gets fouled with one second to go. Pump the brakes. I mean, just like you said, a great job by Okoje getting the ball to create the basket. That's just like so undisciplined hands. Point eight seconds, maybe point six yeah. seconds. But you can make it if you hit all three. Make it a no lose situation for UMass. Two shots, they're saying. to the line misses on purpose Newton with a full court heave oh, almost and Mason falls at the buzzer as Massachusetts finally able to get one to the finish line in these tight situations and they do so on a Rasul Diggins free throw